let's start with sexual reproduction it means what you understand by sexual it means they have sexual reproductive organ i repeat they have well developed sexual or reproductive organ in case if we talk about flower they have this kind of female reproductive organ this is stigma this is style this is ovary and in case in flower we talk about male then they, it is look like this we call it stamen this is the anther part and this is a filament part but if we discuss about in case of human look like this dekho look at you this is the structure of female reproductive organ this is ovary okay this is a fallopian tube this is a vaginal this is a uterus and in male they have penis okay testes vas deferens epididymis prostate gland seminal gland and this is going to urethra point understand guys so we will first talk about flower reproductive organ look at here look at here guys see this part is female reproductive organ let me change the color here yeah. female reproductive organ this is stigma this long cylindrical tube like structure is style and this is swollen part is ovary and this is seat future seat okay dekho look i should zoom this is okay this is egg cell this is antipodal cell antipodal cell and this is synergid and these are polar nuclei this is not your syllabus look at here this is stigma this is style ovary and see that's it now focus on focus on male this is a long thread like structure look at here this is a male reproductive part we call as stamen look at here this appearance we call is stamen this top part is anther they produce what pollen grains what they produce pollen grains how they produce i will teach you i will explain you and this is filament part this is filament part and attached with the base part okay now this introduction of sexual reproduction organ of plant we call is as a flower okay now two thing if i say this is a bisexual flower what you understand by bisexual bi means two sexual matlab sex parts means that flower that have both female and male both reproductive organ like dekho this one look at here this flower is bisexual flower this flower is bisexual flower because they contain both female reproductive organ as well as male reproductive organ both okay this is a bisexual flower example hibiscus and mustard if i say if i say uni sexual term what you understand with uni uni means single not the single bfgf sexual sex parts it means flower have either female reproductive organ and other flower contain male reproductive organ means both sexes are separate in different different flower this is first flower this is second flower this flower have female reproductive organ but not male reproductive organ and this flower have male reproductive organ not female reproductive organ so this kind of flower is called as a unisexual flower example is papaya watermelon okay guys is it clear i'll explain how pollen tube is formed how this pollen grain and pollen tube is formed and they fertilize females egg cell look at here i explain one by one first i explain male part this is a sign of male see this is what this is what this is the anther this is anther 
and this is filament grouply we call as stamen focus on this focus on this part if i draw this plant and dissect this plant it look like this if we cut like look at here look at here if we cut then it sound like this okay guys this part this part produce what pollen grains this part produce pollen grains the small circular rigid structure can i zoom this part how it looks look at here this is the appearance this outer layer is rigid for protect surrounding okay outer layer this is the inner layer and this is the nucleus it develops and inner cell divided into two part i previously said one cell divided into two cell two cell divided into four cell okay so nucleus is divided then cell is divided this is called vegetative cell and this is called germ cell look at here this is grow and form like this this is first and this is second this is a first this is second what is this this is a male gamete this is also a male gamete this is a pollen tube and now this pollen tube is reach at the part of female reproductive organ and this which grow faster faster and faster and it inserted into females ovary look at here ovary and fuse with egg cell this much i told you na this cell center cell this cell this cell fuse and this process when egg cell fuse with male gamete this is called fertilization is it clear guys is it clear guys this is a female reproductive organ this is their layer integument this is egg cell this is antipodal cell this is pollen nuclei and side left right is synoid cells whatever i draw here it is explained here okay guys everything everything pollen tubes is travel through their part this is ovary part this is a female part this is whole female part this is whole female part this is ovary this is style and this is stigma i must say you have to learn how to draw this kind of diagrams they give you marks they give you provide you number score full of the full i make you chart for you i make it chart for you here look at here first first male gamete produce what what they produce first male gamete how many two second what they produce pollen grains okay look at here this kind of structure and then they travel how they travel by wind by animals by bees because the pollen grains are very sticky pollen grains are very sticky if any kind of animal eat their fruit flower any kind of bee suck their nectar then the pollens are attached with their legs their mouth their body part and travel through one flower to another flower and they perform their fertilization process so this pollen grain reach females reproductive organ this is stigma this is style this is ovary so this pollen grain reach here their outer covering is break now he reach his destiny now no protection no nothing then pollen tubes grow faster travel through stigma style and reach where egg here is egg here is sternite cells here here is polar nuclei here antipodal cells and fuse with fuse with egg cell now this process is called what fertilization if another nuclei also fertilize but this fertilizes pollen nuclei if second male gamete second male gamete because pollen grain contain two gamete second contain male gamete fuse with fuse with polar nuclei we call it as a double fertilization double fertilization all right guys clear this term clear very clear guys very clear what is this this is a seat if we cut if we cut longitudinally cut and open this kind of structure is visible inside the seat this is cotyledon store food 
and this is primulus what they form in future they form shoot stem branch leaf flowers etc and this is a root we call it as a radicals they form root primary root secondary root fibrous root okay guys so this is a reproductive part of plant we call it as a flower clear guys very clear in next video we will cover human reproductive organ so if you like my lecture my video please subscribe my channel thank you and keep smiling thank you so much guys for listening to me